Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, Ethereum, the DXY and also the Nasdaq. So what we're seeing right now is boring sideways action. Bitcoin is still trading here between these Fibonacci retracements here, the 54,000 level, our current support and our current resistance up here at around $57,000. So overall, I'm still bullish for all markets, my friends. So I'm expecting here still big moves to the upside. And I think that $80,000 could be very easily reached if here we're going to have a successful breakout to the upside side above 57,000 and then of course also take out here this all-time high that we had so far at $62,000 but of course we are in a very critical point because if we're going to lose this specific support down here at $52,000 then things could start to look very ugly. And here in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we're getting rejected from here the 20 moving average right here at our resistance of $57,000. So this clear resistance line need to be broken in order to go, of course, back to an uptrend. Although if you're trading with my own indicator over on Discord, you can see that the three hour time frame is still in a downtrend, even though we got here a buy signal, but it looks like that we're getting rejected here by the EMA ribbons. Also here in the four hour, you can see this 20 moving average perfectly lining up at our resistance and if we have a look here into the RSI you can see that currently we are getting here a big rejection at the 50 level so as long as the RSI is trading here below the 50 level and also get rejected from this important uh, line then of course we are still in the downtrend and we could still drop lower here towards $52,000 before maybe we're gonna see a reversal here and we're gonna go again towards new all-time high so what can happen here in the next coming hours of course is that we're gonna have a breakout here to the downside from the support that we have of $54,000 and the target then of course would be right here at our main support of around $52,000 so I still think that this what we have seen here was a bottom but not the bottom so it is very likely that we're gonna continue here towards $52,000 and hopefully this will be our bottom and then we're going to see a reversal here and of course a continuation also to the upside so if we drop here towards $52,000 then we would have a retracement here back to the 0.5 Fibonacci uh, retracement but uh, hopefully we can maintain here this uh, $54,000 this of course would be more bullish if we are able already now here uh, to have the bottom and then of course uh, reverse immediately so even though the lower time frames are looking like that here we could see $52,000 it's not guaranteed it is possible that already here at $54,000 we have enough support but if we're gonna break below $52,000 then my friends I'm afraid that that we could see a major drop even down towards the 30 to $34,000 area which in my opinion is still very unlikely but it is possible if we're gonna lose here this $52,000 important support that we have currently Currently. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we closed almost here at the nine daily moving average. And this is really the last moving average in the daily that needs to get broken in order to go back into an uptrend. Because always when we are above the nine daily moving average, we are in an uptrend. When we are trading below, we are back in a downtrend. And it looks like that we could maybe have very soon a close here above the nine daily moving average, but currently we are getting rejected. So today I want to see a close above $57,000 or tomorrow a close above $57,000 in order to go back into our uptrend. If we're going to continue here to close daily candles below $57,000 or below the 9 daily moving average, it is very likely that we're going to get squeezed here between the 20 daily moving average at $52,000 and here the 9 daily until then we're going to see a breakout to the upside or to the downside. And since uh, all markets are looking very bullish right now, and I'm expecting also for Bitcoin to have here an, a successful breakout to the upside 
pretty soon so even though the daily time frame had here a sell signal and we're coming back down it looks like that we could be very very close to a bottom and then of course see a reversal to the upside again also here you can see the rsi is cooling off here down to the 50 level very soon and here of course we are expecting another bounce sake like we had also here in the past after we had this bearish divergence here in the daily so hopefully we are coming very close to an end and if we're gonna see here a reversal so I'm expecting this towards the end of the week latest then I think we're gonna see here a clear move to the upside or to the downside but most likely to the upside of course and now I want to show you the weekly time frame because once more I want to remind you here of the nine weekly moving average which so far held always as a strong support during our uptrend here and this one is exactly lining up at $47,000 so as long as we're trading above $47,000 we should be still good to go to the upside even though of course we could even drop towards this level and for the worst case scenario that here we're gonna see a breakout to the downside from this $52,000 and also lose this 47 support from this nine weekly moving average then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average right here at $34,000 and if we even drop lower then watch out here for this last resort support here at $30,000 because this is where our rising wedge started here and usually when we break out to the downside we always come back to where we started the wedge but since we are still in an uptrend and still in a bull market the performance usually is not so good of this bear pattern so that's why we could maybe even bottom out then here at around $34,000 and then from here on gonna have a big reversal to the upside and continue to go towards new all-time highs because Bitcoin never goes below the 20 weekly moving average during a bull market and that's why I think it is very unlikely that we are reaching these levels now or maybe even drop lower but it is possible based on the charts I'm just telling you what is my theory if here we're gonna see a breakout to the downside but overall I still think that here we're gonna see for sure continuation to the upside and another bullish thing that I want to show you is here the stochastic RSI in the weekly time frame because this is about to have a bullish cross here so latest in April I think here we're gonna have a confirmed bullish cross and every time this happens every time the stochastic RSI here in oversold condition had a bullish cross we always have seen the price go Going completely parabolic to the upside like here in 2020 after the corona dump we had exactly the same signal here bullish cross in the weekly stochastic or side then we had here this massive run-up and then the second one happened over here at around eleven thousand dollar where then we also had a parabolic move to the upside and that's why i think here as soon as we also gonna confirm this bullish cross potentially during the month of april we also gonna see big fireworks to the upside so any kind of depot correction here my friends wherever we are going take it as a good buy and long opportunity because we are definitely headed towards uh, higher levels here in the very close future here and we also can have a look quickly over to ethereum because ethereum is exactly in the same range like bitcoin we are stuck here between these two fibonacci retracements so with the support that we have currently of 1750 and here the resistance of 1880 so also here i'm expecting whatever bitcoin is doing that ethereum most likely is gonna follow it so hopefully we're gonna break out to the upside in bitcoin and that would also mean that of course here ethereum will see new all-time highs pretty soon because in my opinion ethereum is still lagging way behind bitcoin we didn't even test it here the old all-time high so that's why i think here on ethereum also very soon we're gonna see some continuation to the upside and now if we go over into the dxy you can see that also here we are trading sideways and um, here in the four hour time frame it looks like that we might could form here an ascending uh, triangle which of course is a bullish pattern and that could bring the dxy again towards this uh, high that we had here for around 92.50 and that could of course lead, lead into a correction in the bitcoin price down to 52 thousand dollar in my opinion if it happens but if here we're gonna fall to the downside then of course we're gonna test here the 200 moving average in the dxy 
and then of course we're going to see a nice pump in the bitcoin price because the dxy is still in a bear market we are still here trading below the 200 daily moving average right here at 92 dollars 70 and as long as uh, this is the fact we are here in a bear market and we should expect the dxy to get rejected here and continue to go sideways or maybe even drop even more and that of course is in favor for uh, the bitcoin price for the crypto market and overall also for the stock market and speaking about stock market here nasdaq you can see that yesterday we had a bullish close above the 20 daily moving average this is what we wanted to see of course right now we are having this problem that we are not able to close daily candles above the 50 daily moving average here at 13,160. but i'm pretty confident that here very soon we are also able to break this resistance here from this moving average and then of course head towards uh, uh, these highs that we had here of around 13,900 dollar and then most likely also create new all-time highs so nasdaq is looking bullish my friends i'm expecting also here continuation to the upside as long as we are above the 20 daily moving average and you can see that all the nine daily moving average is uh, coming higher and higher very very fast and usually we also here have always the nine daily moving average as a very strong support during an uptrend and that's why as soon as this moving average is catching up with the price action then i'm expecting here also big continuations to the upside so even though short term we still could get some uh, pullbacks here and some retracements overall long term i'm still leaning more to the bullish side and everything is still looking very healthy so wherever the price is going here even if we drop towards 52,000 or even down towards 48 or 34 thousand dollar take it as a good buy opportunity we are not going to go lower we are still in our bull market and we're still far away from a cycle top or from a local top because everything is still looking like that we're gearing up here for a big move to the upside but here short term it is still possible that we're gonna go sideways here maybe have some pullbacks down towards the main support but overall we are still looking very bullish for long term so i'm still telling you my friends to buy and accumulate as much bitcoin as possible especially during these times when we go sideways or maybe have some pullbacks because you definitely don't want to fomo in and buy every new all-time high that we are creating on the way towards our bullish targets way above us so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to join this uh, femex trading event that is starting on the 24th of uh, march if you want to join it you find the invitation link down below here in the video description and also if you need a bybit femex or prime xpt account then make sure to use my refer links down below here you get some bonus and you support the channel if you use them also over on prime xpt we still have this special co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders so definitely go and check it out and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord trading chat use the official link down below here this invitation link once you have clicked on it then you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to see here the live stream of my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals then you have to send me a private message here on a discord because a small donation is needed to get access to this indicator and like this you have lifetime access to it so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.